How do you change the background color in Photoshop? Well, when you start a new document, more than likely you have a white background. We actually have a background layer over here in our layers panel. Now this layer is generally locked. So the first thing we would wanna do with this layer is unlock it. Now we just have a basic layer that has white pixels on it. We could even move around those white pixels. So this is a square the size of our canvas that we can move around. So let's say you didn't want any pixels. We can go up to select, down to select all, that's command or control A, and then we can press the delete key to delete out all of the pixels. Then we can press command or control D to deselect, and now we have a transparent background. So there's no color. So you can have that white background, you can have no color or a transparent background layer, or there's a couple different ways that we can add color to the background. We could create a new shape layer. So we could grab this shape tool, the rectangle tool. We could create a shape that extends bigger than our canvas. So you can see how I'm larger than the canvas here. And when we let go, it's gonna pull in whatever we had selected. So in the upper part of the control bar here, we see we have a fill and a stroke. So we could actually put zero on that stroke or just click on it and click the slash if we don't want to stroke on the outside of that shape. And then the fill color, we can change here, but we can also see a new rectangle in our layers panel and double click on its thumbnail to then change the color. So if you wanted it to be blue or you wanted it to be maybe like a really light yellow color, you can change it like that and hit okay. So this effectively can be our background layer. We could double click on that and literally name it the background. We could even delete out our old layer. And we could say, yes, we want to delete that layer. So now we have this new background shape that we can just double click on the thumbnail of to change the color really easily. Now, there's a couple other ways that we can work with or add different color shapes. So it kind of depends on what you like to do here. We can add different layers down here by clicking on this little icon and we could add a solid color layer. So this is a color fill and we can select the color we want there. It works very similarly to the rectangle except the rectangle is an actual vector shape. You can see the bounding box of it. You can scale it up and down. The color fill is just going to fill with this color. That's its only job but it can also work as a background layer. You might have noticed in here, we can also have a gradient background layer. So now we have a gradient fill layer and we can hit okay and we've got this sort of light pink to red. If we double click on the thumbnail of this layer, we can adjust the gradient again and hit okay. Now there's one more spot that we can actually do this. If I select both these layers and delete them out, so now I just have my background layer. If I'm in this sort of empty space of the layer name and double click, it's gonna pull open the layer styles. In layer styles, we have color overlay, which effectively is the same thing as changing the color of the rectangle itself, or we have gradient. So we could apply a gradient to our rectangle here in layer styles. So if we click gradient overlay. Now it took me to the blending options, but I actually want to click on gradient overlay because within here we can adjust the blend mode. We can adjust the opacity of our gradient. So this would be um, the background color of the rectangle itself, and then how much that blends with the gradient that we select. So we could do 100% if we just want it to be the gradient. In here, we can actually select a gradient, or we can click on the thumbnail to edit the gradient here in the gradient editor. You can adjust colors, take them around, hit okay, and you have your gradient. We can adjust the scale of the gradient in and out, the angle of it, and also whether this is linear or if this is a radial gradient or any of these other options here. Then we can hit OK. So we've got our background rectangle with a gradient overlay applied to it and we can use that as our color of our background. Now all of these options essentially amount to one thing and that is you have a layer at the very bottom of your document or your layers panel. And on that layer, you're either keeping it transparent or you're adding a color to it, like a solid color fill, texture to it, a pattern to it, or even a gradient overlay to it. Any of these options 
will be the background color of your document. And that's how to change the background color here in Photoshop.